What is on the other side of that extreme? In other words, relativity tells us that as an object approaches the speed of light or is in a deep gravitational well, time slows right. to a stop. Okay, so now watch. So some years ago, people realized you couldn't accelerate past the speed of light. But does that preclude a particle existing faster than light? If you can't accelerate past it, can you exist on the other side? And serious thought was given to that, to the point where there's some movies based on it, and we, there was a hypothetical particle that has these properties. It's called a tachyon. Tachyos from the Greek meaning fast. Mm -hmm. Tachyos. Tachyons. And tachyons would live backwards in time. How is that possible? Because if time slows down as you reach the speed of light, on the other side of speed of light, if you continue the equations jumping that gap, time would go backwards for it. Tachyon. For it. For... Yes. Yeah. For it. Do we know they exist? No, we never, never found them. So then how could you have a theory about something that you... Like... Because it's allowed to exist by Einstein's equations. And if something is allowed, that's good enough reason to go out and look for it. If other parts... Have... But at one point, do you stop looking in all seriousness and go, well, we're not, this doesn't... But you can't find it... Welcome to the frontier of science. No, it's like I can't we find my phone know. in my house. I'm not going to keep looking and go, I we, know it's there. We don't know. That's right. It's a mystery. But if you give up and someone else finds it a month later, 